Back of the line as Top Fuel continues. It's going to be Doug Coletta and Antron Brown. For this Lincoln Tech Fix It Fit report, Mike Dunn visited Morgan Lucas's shop in Indianapolis. If the 320 gear ratio, you have to look at the ring and pinion, which is located in the rear end housing in both a top fuel dragster and a fuel funny car. As we look over here, we've taken the top off of the rear end housing, and you can clearly see the ring gear here and also the pinion gear. Now, the pinion gear is connected to the drive shaft from the engine, and the ring gear is connected to the spool and an axle, which drives the rear wheels. The way they get the gear ratio is you have the ring gear here has 32 teeth, the pinion gear has 10. You divide that into it, that's 320 to 1. What that means is the, the pinion gear will turn 3.2 times for every revolution of the ring gear or the rear wheels. And the NHRA rules mandate that that 320 gear is the only gear ratio you can run in a fuel car. That's a good explanation of that, though. Doug Coletta, his 66th career final round, if he can get out of the semifinals, last won a race at Denver last year, his only win in 2010. And, of course, Andron Brown, he's looking for his 350th round of racing. Well, this is interesting because Antron Brown has lane choice. He's the first driver and team to take the right-hand lane. And yes, why would he do that? Well, he went 384 in the previous round of that lane when he didn't have the lane choice. So obviously they like what they see there, and the, you can't hardly argue with those numbers. So Antron looks for a 350th round win as we look at Connie Coletta. He's been smiling today. Don Schumacher, Antron Brown's car owner. Antron gets a nose ahead, Antron Brown. Wow, another 384. Unbelievable. Jeez. Low ET of the race, 384 with a three, 320 miles an hour. That's hot. <laughs> that's, that's impressive. Take another look up there. Doug Clett had a cylinder out early, and then it looks like it might have picked it up down track, but it was too late. Antron Brown, as you go on track, watch right there. The cylinder's out, and then it picked it up. That just killed the momentum early, which affected the rest of the run, but it was still going to be tough even if you had eight cylinders to beat Antron Brown. Two good friends will face one another in the final. Antron Brown and Brandon Bernstein. Antron will have the lane choice. 